Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about angles on a straight line. Here are a couple of examples of angles on a straight line so that we can understand what we're talking about with this angle fact rule. You start with a straight line and then there may be one or more lines coming in to meeting at a point on that straight line and the angles formed around that point are what we're talking about with this angle fact rule. The key point that you need to remember is that angles on a straight line always add up to 180 degrees. So if you've got some angles which are on a straight line they always add up to 180 degrees. Let's have a look at a couple of examples now to see how we would actually go about applying this angle rule to find missing angles in problems such as what we've got here. So in this diagram I've got two angles which are on a straight line. The first angle is 100 degrees and the second angle is unknown. I'm going to call that angle X and the purpose of this exercise is to calculate how large angle X must be given the information that's in that diagram. Well, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that 100 plus X must be equal to 180. Or another way of thinking about this would be to say that angle X must be 180 take away 100. So if we start the, with the 180 degrees and we take away 100, what we'll be left with is angle X. So angle X must be 80 degrees. In this second example, I've now got three angles which are on a straight line. There's the 50 degree angle, the 20 degree angle, and then an unknown angle which I've labelled angle Y. And we're going to calculate what angle Y must be by using our angle rule. Angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that 50 add 20 add Y is equal to 180. Or another way of thinking of this would be to say if we start with our 180 degrees, we take away 50, we take away 20, what would be left with would be angle Y. So 180 take away 50 take away 20 is 110. So angle Y is 110 degrees. That was angles on a straight line. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.